man. Get your popcorn ready podcast because this is your host, Hatch, with man. my boy. Man, we been rolling, man. We this is T.O. Rolling. in the building, man. Get your popcorn ready, man. You know what? We got Blue the Great. Yeah, but back we're, to what we were not, talking about earlier. Not, early. not just Blue the blue. Great. But, but how not did you get... Not just Blue, Blue the Great. Right, but he said he didn't want to be Blue the Great. You but go, it's on your Instagram, you so how did we get to Blue the Great? For sure. Um, <laughs> blue, Brian Blue, OG. My dad's out there. He's the OG Blue. He's the real Blue. The OG, uh-huh. triple OG. <laughs> yeah, um, I was in high school. Uh, I was running track. I was talking to this girl. We didn't do anything at all. I was pretty young. And mm-hmm. uh, she started calling me Blue the Great one time. And it just made a lot of sense. And it stuck? Hey, stuck. but all but the other girls, all the other girls the... was probably like, why are you so great? <laughs> right, but how, how did she just look at you and just... She knew. I mean, blue the great. I I was like, you know, I was drawn. I was always drawing, and okay, I was pretty decent at track, football, sports. Athlete, yeah, you was an athlete, athlete, right? But uh, yeah, I don't know. What's, I felt like I was kind of decent in most things. What's this you girl's name? <laughs> she's she's like a clairvoyant of some <laughs> sort. You know, she's seen it before you right. see it. She, yeah, saw, she saw the potential. Do you remember her name? Yeah, I remember her name. What's her name? We don't need to know. Uh, that. I know Blue's like, ah, we, we don't, don't need to know. He's like, ah. <laughs> like, man, you asking too many questions. Man. But this is a podcast, yeah. though. You, you can know, say Blue, you, know what you mean? want to you, you can say her she... name is Sheila. <laughs> yeah. That's her name. Nobody name is yeah. Sheila. Nobody name Christy. is Sheila. Christy. No. No, it's all good. It's all good. Tracy. Nah. Don't listen to this. Don't listen to that. Aiden. Again, right? You used to basic be an name. athlete, right? It's yeah. a basic yeah. name? Basic. Mary. No, yeah, it could it's be Mary. Susan. It's no, those are, no, that's, it's 22. Kate. Nobody's named those names anymore. What? That's that's like, is that a basic name? That's not even basic. No, no Tills. more. Latasha's basic. Brittany. Brittany? Basic. Brittany. Brittany's a basic. Brit- Brittany's basic. Yeah, but yeah. Mary and Susan are not basic. That's like 1975. Those are basic, simple names. From 1975. Okay. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we got Blue the Great up in this piece, man. Brian Blue is in the <laughs> building, man, ladies and looks gentlemen. Looks be- eclectic. <laughs> eclectic. Feel you know what I mean? I feel you, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's, <sighs> now, did you, did you design them, right? You're an artist, of course, right? What type of artist do you put your, your label under? Like, you know, because he thinks he's an artist. He ain't no artist. Right? I mean, we all are artists in our own right. Am Everybody I not right? Him. Am I right? Facts, yeah. yeah. Come on, see, you not. He, he don't know what he say paper. facts to, but go ahead. <laughs> um, I think uh, I try not to be under any category, really. Uh, being black, I think, uh, and sometimes let's just take a step back. Mm-hmm. I'm just an artist. I like just to be open. Okay. Um, being that I'm black, and sometimes I do murals. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get street artists a lot. Okay. Um, but really, it's just art. I paint. I paint with cam- on canvas with paintbrushes most of the time, but. Mm-hmm. Art is uh, open, so it can be anything you want. Right, right. it's like you're a prototype. Yeah, and that's how you know with my clothing line. That's how I came up with prototype, and then you have to be creative in that as well. So my clothing line is called Prototype Eighty One. Yep. And of the definition of prototype is the basis on which something is made or formed, and then the creativity part of it is you can't spell my initials are T O. You can't spell prototype without T O. Yes, sir. You see what I'm talking about? You can't spell it without P neither. I don't. I don't <laughs> like you. I don't like you. That was so but random. This guy right here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, you, it was so random that you stopped me. Was I was like, what? <laughs> but again, to your point, like uh, you're an artist, you know what I mean? Like I said, you don't want to pigeonhole yourself. And we, like I said, as an athlete, we want to separate ourselves too. So, what is it about you? Like I said, under the umbrella of an artist, what makes you unique and different? Um, that's a great question. But uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just about approach. You know, it's like um, at the beginning of, I mean, I think a lot of people's art career, or even just their life, it's a, a lot of it's about imitation and like trying to be like, oh, I saw this dude, Basquiat paints like this, so I want to paint like that. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I think it starts Im- as imitation, and as you grow older, it's just more about um, pulling from yourself. From within, so yeah. I think what makes me different is that, like, I really try to, I mean, you can't be inspired by yourself. But um, I try to paint as, like, ugly as possible, if that makes sense. Wow. As, like, yeah. as only I could paint. Yep. Right. Yeah, yep. So. Like him, he's ugly. Like, he's he's you, ugly you as possible. You you're you 100% can't even paint correct. That, dog. You can't paint that. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, if he tried to paint you, it, it, it would be it, an improvement. You'd be, you'd be blue, the greatest <laughs> ever. That's what you would be if you painted me. So, again, signed the deal with Jordan. 
Yeah. Right? Let's go back again. I'm a Nike Jordan guy from day one, right? You are as well yep. because your dad grew up watching MJ as well, right? But how'd that whole thing come up, come about and kind of explain to us, like, the feeling you had of that this is Nike, this is Jordan, or you like, eh, this is just another brand to you? Uh, right? No, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got to work on two projects with Jordan before, just doing, like, art, more art-based stuff, like customizing trophies for these high school kids mm -hmm. and then they opened the store on broadway they asked me to come in and do customs i used to do custom um shoes in high school that's kind of how i got into like the whole sneaker game and stuff mm -hmm. but uh they reached out and they're like hey you might get a jordan you know you might be getting a jordan next year you know okay. i'm like you know they don't tell you what number right yeah you don't know yeah. if you're getting a team jordan uh you right. know, or three something four, jordan. Five. Yeah. you might get to do a jordan you yeah. know so i'm i'm like man that'd be really cool and that, you know, I guess my name was in a hat for, like, um, leaders in, in the art community in L.A., and, like, they voted on me. Wow. And I they picked me, and then right. I got to design a shoe, and it was um, it was the most surreal experience I've, I've had to date. Um, just, so was that uh, pressure? Obviously, like I said, obviously, again, to work under the Jordan brand. Oh, no pressure. Then, none? <laughs> because, it's, because it's what you do. Because you do this. Right. You know, right. I was like, okay, well— it's about so, time y'all gave me a shot. <laughs> I've been right, on right, point right, for yeah, five, yeah, ten yeah, years. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Right. yeah. So what goes into the idea of okay, you're trying to make you know, obviously it's Jordan, so you're trying to make the is it you have the perfect the perfect shoe. It's like us as athletes. Jordan's perfect you're trying to shoe. play the perfect game, but there is no perfect game. Yeah. It just so how do you perfect the project in which you're assigned to? Yeah, for sure. Um like the it pretty much came down to the, the idea of I can make something that's incredibly signature to me. Like, I paint, like, a lot of mummy things. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, okay, this is a global brand. Mm, okay. I don't know if people will understand that. And that then on the opposite side, yeah, it's like, okay, well, what's this mummy shoe about? Right. And then on the opposite side was like, well, I paint with primary colors in green. And, like, you know, that old school Oshkosh Bagash, play school, like, mm -hmm. Google, like, these colorful colors. Colors, that palette, but how do you make it still, like, mature? Like, you know, so my options were, like, this wild, wild mummy shoe or this bright, like, shoe. And I'm, like, the, the textures I was able to, to get out of the shoe and, like, I feel like it was the perfect shoe. I showed one of my uh, one of my homies, he's, like, don't make that shoe. That shoe's ugly as hell. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, I'm and dropping that, that. And that's for why you, you yeah, that's and how that you was a compliment it. to you. Yeah, like, I, I, just, I, just, like, I think I saw the bigger picture, and it was like, this shoe is done so well to be bright and something you could wear with all black or all white, or you could go crazy with it. But yeah, um, right. yeah I felt like it's a shout out to my childhood. Wow, yeah, and I think, awesome. too, you said something key is that you recognize that Jordan, and you didn't get so giddy that you're assigned to do a project for Jordan, but you understood and recognized it's a global brand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you, you have people that local, you know, you got your regional, but then you recognize, okay, this is this is global, this is international. And then you obviously you create this shoe. And then like I said, we all go to those people like when you need like you're kind of struggling like, you know, to hey, what do you think about this? Right, yeah. right. Yeah, we yeah. need some advice or you need some help, you know, figuring it out. You know, we all go to those people like I'll call him. You know, yeah. for, not for no fashion stuff. Yeah, he will. And I'll be like, "That's trash." He, he always like called idiot. me. That's He'll call right. me like, "Yo, T, what you think about that?" Dude? You're like, lying. Yeah, Shut your butt, butt up, like Blue. That, don't man. laugh at that, dog. Don't laugh. At that. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. So, but you recognize that, and so your friend, like, do you do that all the time? Not all the time, but is that the guy that you call? You know, and be like, "Yo, are you struggling you in some advice. little area?" I'm like, "Yo, what do you think about this shoe?" And then it's depending upon what he says. As to whether you make some changes or not, no, the answer is gonna be the same. It's really, <laughs> it's really like, <laughs> like you, thank you, you but like, you like this yeah. one or you like this one, but I'm really gonna go with this, this one, one anyway. Either way, but yeah. I, I just want to hear your opinion on yeah. the two and why, kind of. Right, because when you hilarious. are sometimes, you know, even like females, they'll ask you, you know, yeah, with red what, dress that, or blue right, dress, right? They'll be like, yo, like which blue. dress well, do I you like? Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? And then you're kind of scared to tell them which one it is because you're like, yo, and you're trying to be diplomatic, and you're like. Yo, baby, both of them look good. Yeah. And he's like, like, no, that's not what I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. No, what do you want to yeah. see me in? Yeah, you know what I mean? Funny. Now, before, always... before that process started, like, like, do you, like, lock yourself in a room and, like, okay, zone out? Or are you just, like, you know, it's another day at the drawing board? I, I treat it the same. Yeah, yeah, so they give you a timeline for? Oh, yeah, it was hot. It was hot. Oh, <laughs> so it was like they needed it yesterday. It's just because I was, like, you know, uh, I was, like, 
mostly managing myself at this time. And, like, I had a lawyer, like, someone reading my contracts and all that. But, you know, I was just, like, I was trying to negotiate a little more. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so I was just taking my time. And then by the time I signed the contract, it was like, hey, man. You took the your dad out. We needed them, <laughs> those hours counted towards the, <laughs> Yeah. So I was like, but it really was no pressure because I was already de- I was already going. I was already designing things. And I already had so right. many ideas that it was right. like, we're going. Right. Now, the NFL does that thing, um, calls for cleats. Yeah. And so are you designing any of the uh, NFL players' cleats? Uh, no, I, I try to get out of shoes now. Like, really? It was, it was a good – I'll take – I would do shoes if I can design another shoe. Mm-hmm. Customizing, I, I just, like, I yeah. left that behind and, like, like, college because, like, now I'm doing paintings. Like, you know, it's just – it's that's the, that's what's, is that yeah. more lucrative paintings? Uh, Not even close. That's why you you know you transition. No, out painting of... is just it's the it's the it's really the base. The base is right. painting. Okay. Uh, Other stuff is hobby. What stuff. is going on is just like okay, I could flex and put it on. I could paint anything. I could paint a speaker. Right. Like, so I but, want our audience to see this is what oh, you did. Yes, right? sir. I want everybody yep. to see this. Yeah. Make sure we plug right plug there. in. And that's my camera right there. You see this? <laughs> plug in on the on the yeah, Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you have a pair of these? Uh, do, you, do you have like twenty <laughs> pair of these? I had so crazy <laughs> part. Do you what, have? What, do you have what, size twelve? What? In what? These? What we're getting to? What we are getting to is like I wear a fourteen. You know, I, I mean, wear can, twelve. Is there any way possible that we can get these? Are called the Air Jordan One Mid. They're fearless. Yep. Fearless. How fearless, you, how'd you fearless the name? blue and the Fearless, fearless blue, blue the great. Yeah. Did and you I come like, up with the like, word fearless too? Fearless was the whole pack. It was pack. like a collaboration. Oh, well, three, three artists. And okay. can you explain to us, the audience, what went into these colors? Because as you were describing, like you went to like some bright colors, you know, some texture. What went into this shoe? Um, so I paint. I usually paint with a uh, well, primary colors: red, yellow, and blue. I make all my colors from red, yellow, blue. Green is just, it just makes sense. It's secondary, but it fits in. Mm. But I paint with those colors a lot. And um, I was also like, I mean, I, I used to love Super Mario World. And like, it's just like a nostalgic <laughs> yes, colorway. Yes, right, yeah. yeah. And like, I, I like that. Thinking of just like, you know, your, your old school, like everything was kind of that color when you were a kid. So trying to make something that was just like nostalgic, but not too bright, that is like, man, those are lime green, right. whatever. Right, right, neon green, yeah. electric, yeah. But the cool thing I got to do with that, like I'm not Travis Scott or like a super, a super like, I'm not like famous. So the, your rules, the rules were for me was like, I couldn't like reconstruct the shoe. Like I couldn't right. move yeah. anything. So what I decided You couldn't like, switch the switch. Yeah, right. I want to play with textures heavy and make my shoe feel premium. Nice. So. Right, right. Yeah, do you have anything to say with the like what these cost like on the market or? or they're they're not bad. They, no, do you have any say so in that? Though? Oh no, no, all they, you, deal? that's all them. Okay, yeah. you don't. You just make the shoe and yeah. take the pictures <laughs> and get that check. Yeah, no, nah, it was it was sick. I got to paint a basketball court. It was um, yeah, it's like the basketball court. Yep. The once in a lifetime experience that like they yeah. I could have got a any shoe, you know. Right. Like, but um, I don't wear Adidas like that, and I'm really a Nike guy, so it, yeah, it's literally it like the sense. biggest thing that could have. That's awesome. Yeah. Now you have an NBA um, conversation after that. Was that the NBA? Did they call you after this shoe? Oh, um, man, everybody. How, everybody. I, mean, well, I know everybody. <laughs> I, did, yeah. uh, right, so I guess. No, I got to do some stuff shoes. with the NBA after that. I mean, it was cool because stuff was going, was already going really well, and then after Jordan comes out, a global thing, and it – you know, it sold out. It is a global, Killed. global shoe. I'm people in Africa hitting me about the shoe. Like, really? it's, it's what's the highest you seen that shoe sell for? Like five, ten uh, grand, maybe. I don't really pay attention to the price. I pay, okay. I pay more attention to the people who wear it. Okay, it was pretty cool. Will Smith was on TV talking about my shoe. Okay, it's like everybody. So, that, so that's credibility for it's you. It's just yeah. like, bruh. Like I've, I've arrived. arrived. That's my shoe. I've bruh. arrived. Yeah. I mean, you that Literally. guy. I'm sitting here talking to T.O. You're my favorite player growing up, bro. You're my no, first. stop playing. Oh, that's all right. First, my first. No, you're just saying that. My dad was a Niner bro. fan. We, oh, we yeah, were, we right. Okay, you were forced into the. I was forced <laughs> into the Niner gang. And then low-key, like, T.O.'s my favorite football player. And then, uh, Man, I appreciate that. And then that, he got dog. traded, and it was just Jeff Garcia over there. And I'm young. I'm like, bro, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I got traded, too. I know loyalty. <laughs> I was out. Go on, ride with T.O. Yeah, I'm I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. That's so, real, for real. So back to what I was saying, like, it's more so about, like, you know, it doesn't matter how much I sell for. It's just, like, the people who warm and, like, awesome, like yeah. people who is just, like, it was, it was an experience I couldn't even, like, put in words. Like, the people DMing me. 
Who who was a DM? Who was a DM that you were like crazy? That's your gratification. That's your satisfaction. Yeah, give me, uh, he yeah, said, said Will Smith. No, but who DM'd you? Oh, like, DM'd like he was like, oh wow, that's Off- awesome. Offset hit me right when the uh, wow. right when they came out. Before they came out, just DM me, and I'm like, this Offset? I never met this. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, I was like, cool. oh, this is how shit's going. And then like when I would when I would go out, everybody would introduce me as like, oh, this, this is blue to gray. Blue, he made the Jordan, the one that. Whoop, whoop, gonna be wearing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that. That's respect, man. <laughs> that's, like, that's, that credibility, respect. man. That's, yeah. that's 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 that that's that that living legend type of stuff. It's like people giving you your flowers, you know what I mean, while you're here. So yeah. you know that's why we got you here. We love yeah. you, you know what I mean. Yeah. I Obviously, you're doing what you do, you know what I mean, because you know we Support. losing black men left and right nowadays. So it's you know to have you on set, man. Like you know that's why we were asking you. Like you were like when he was asking like why you don't want to be called Blue the Great, man. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Embrace it. You know what I yeah. mean? Because we losing fe- people every day. You For know sure. What I mean? yeah. We have to give you your flowers, man. You here. You know what I mean? You doing your thing. Yeah. You know I mean? You worked on a Jordan project. Man, that's, that's man, you got offset <laughs> in your DM. You got, but it sounds it is, like it's only going up. Every time like trending. everything is trending up. So, like, yeah. what's the next big thing that you can speak on, of course, you know, that, that we're going to see hit the, hit the market? Worldwide, um, obviously. For sure, I just did a project with eBay. Went incredibly well. I got to make a, a they're kind of well, it's like a sneaker stand, but it's more so like a display table for your okay. like grill items. It's a wild table. Okay. And uh, that just came out. Did incredibly well. I got to like auction money from my high school's art program, Cedar Hill High wow. School. Cedar um, Hill, there's Texas? like five it, Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah, big, yeah. yeah, big school. Yeah. And then um, besides that. For me right now, it's about getting back to just painting and making paintings for myself and mm-hmm. for my collectors. But um, so your price is going up. You know what I mean? The, for the, people, that, I just, mean, I, I'm trying hey, to ask. Hey, the price <laughs> is up. <laughs> it's going. Okay, uh, okay, well, excuse I, me. Is there any nego- uh, negotiation? Any wiggle room in those prices? No, it's, it's always, it's always wiggle room. Because like, you know, I got, I got a clothing line. I'm trying to proposition. Yeah, you know, we maybe, might, maybe we might have to create a little, a little collab, something for your boy. You know, maybe I'm something. your favorite. You know, you know, I'm your well, favorite guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let me let me ask you this, right? Wait, again, I don't know nothing about the space. I'm trying to learn, right? This NFT space yep. and young yes. artists, yeah, it's right. got to be. <clears throat> Doing this for you too, then. Yeah. Right. So, how is that coming about? Like, what are you doing for NFTs, and what's the next move in that space? For right. You? And is it trending? I mean, like I said, you hear people talk about it, but then you read online, it's a bit different. And there's, you know, it's kind of like up and down. You know, yeah. is it yeah, yeah. still trending upwards, or is NFTs trending downward? You know, and like I said, does that have any effect on what you do? Right. Right. Um. NFTs? It's it's a little interesting because I'm like right in the middle now where it's like I dropped my first NFT at the <laughs> end of last year and uh, did incredible. And that work. sold for <laughs> it was like eleven ETH at the time, which is like forty bands. Oof, and okay. uh, that was my first one, the only one I've sold. And uh, and now it's just like roller coaster. Right, and, and like, that was we because... have these different opinions about this, and then right. one company might not want to give artists royalties anymore, and it's like wow. so. For me, the biggest thing about NFTs being an artist was was the royalties and like um, mm-hmm. it's like and that's how you make your money. That's how that's how you become a millionaire, from <laughs> right? Off the being royalties, an artist is you make you go. I'm making a painting. I sell you a painting for I don't know hundred dollars, and then right. you go off and sell it for. You know, I became I become the guy. Perpetuity. I, yeah, yeah, and then you go up, and I get nothing. Like you gotta have something in the back end. Right. Music, uh, music gets royalty, so it, it just needs to be figured out with art. It's like, yeah, these yeah. people trying to make money off the culture. You know what I mean? Without giving the culture back, the literally money. directly, yeah. it's like I'm gonna <laughs> buy that from you, right? Then you go and yeah. sell it to whoever, right? Uh, yeah, that's not. Yeah, but cash. again, yeah, that's what's Give up. Me a tip yeah. or something, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> well, well, and again, can't don't you have enough leverage to invent your own space in that world? Uh, yes. Like, I just think it's just like. Keeping track of it, right? right. So it's become yeah. like okay, well, because that's what they say, right? The NFT, it's on a blockchain. Blockchain, you never lose the the track. You know yeah, where it goes. You know where forever. it's at. You know who right? owns it. So it's see, it, again, I don't know the space, but it seems like if I was an artist, I'd be doing this one a day. Yeah, I think <laughs> that, NFT. You know, I mean, then eventually you have five hundred NFTs out there, and then five hundred go for a million dollars a piece in two years. It's like that's what NFTs mean to me. If I was a great artist, yeah, I think the best thing about blockchain technology, probably, I'm not gonna say the best, but the way that I see it going, 
I mean, digital digital assets are interesting, but like to me, it's more so about like if you buy a painting from me and it costs whatever. I think the asset would be me selling you the NFT and the paint. Like it's like both. the tangible. It's both. These, the tangible. This is the receipt. You got the, yeah, this you the, got the tangible yeah. and you got the digital. Yeah, because it authenticates the the, the NFT itself. The actual art. Art it's like, okay, Right. You have the piece the and you have what it went for, when it went. And they don't do that right now. They do. Some people do. Some. It, people but I think do. Okay. getting. I think getting away from the digital, it's like the exclusivity. It's cool yeah. to own a digital. Like I own NFTs, yeah, but if you own this it's like, piece, I know I would the still only rather one. own the painting and yeah. then have right. the NFT as a receipt. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do you know about like the the best paintings in the world and the prices? The paintings. I, that I know paintings. I'm paintings. <laughs> yeah. You know like everything. The back of right? your hand, huh? Okay. So what's what's something that you that's gone for fifty million dollars? Let's say. I mean, there's like pieces. That are going, they're breaking records like every day. That's crazy. To me. Um, um, and not the paintings. NFT space. We're no, talking about real paintings. Real paintings. Hundred million, right. million dollars. And who are some of those artists? Uh, I forgot who just broke the record. Uh, like last can year. We get that. So, can somebody get us that information, please? Man, that's yeah, crazy. people are breaking records. So, and this is a cool thing about art. And I was told, I was fed a lot of. I'm not saying bad. Just you know, people a lot of BS. Sell, people dog. don't sell paintings for a living. So how do how you know it's how do you, on, know? you know? Right. So, right. right. One thing I was told at the beginning was like try to sell your paintings like super high, and I'm like I'm not even established yet. So like, how do you how do you establish why, what the justifies my painting being worth you know X amount let's of say dollars. ten bands you know like me coming like <laughs> right when you get a game people are like yo son, ten thousand ask for ten thousand oh right. he's asking ask for ten thousand it's like why like right. why so I feel like to I me, think it's I like, know why they say that because they see other art yeah you know what I mean and they be like yo if this sold for this. This shit self, your, but that's they not your, ours. Your, yeah. yours, they yeah. like, yo, you can definitely sell it. Come yeah. like, bro, so yours for hundred thousand. Like, yeah. look way yeah. better than this. Yeah. yeah, but I think it's about like, it's it's kind of tricky, right? Because it's like you don't give for what you don't ask for, mm-hmm. but also like, mm-hmm. how are you just gonna ask? You, right. you know, sometimes you don't. You, that's why you have to like step away. You know, right? Just let someone else. But for like, me, like, how it's do about, you justify? Yeah. Stamping this well, price well, on that. And again, you need a money man to do that. To go like, right. I don't know what the paintings cost. He does. Okay, what about the painting or the art that there was nothing there and sold for 35000 It was literally, you know. Bro, it's talking. like nothing. It's but like a, you it's, cut it's a wall air. out. It was like, air. Like and they that, said, this is art. So what do you. Art. And again, I'm not in this space, but love from it. somebody who's in this space. Because <laughs> you're like, laughing. That's how I felt. I'm I, like, I, I hate again. it and I love it. Right. That's because, like, for example, See all these handprints. This is a, this is art. This could be art for a hundred thousand dollars. And somebody will put this up in their house, Facts. in their house, and be like, and I'm looking and at this like is, this could be a hundred thousand or ten dollars. <laughs> like, what is this? Okay, it could be like, a Walmart a or it could be at in Sotheby's. I don't know. Okay, what's like it, it's like this. I say this so much. <laughs> you got Soulja Boy, you got Kendrick Lamar. Okay. 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 Two totally different artists. Absolutely. Two totally different things. Yeah. Absolutely. Make you feel two totally different, different ways. ways. You don't always need everything to be Kendrick. Sometimes you need Soulja Boy. And then also it's just like, is it art or is it bullshit? And also like, it's that's kind of the fucked up part because some people will make a career. No, I'm not talking about Soulja Boy. I think Soulja yeah. Boy is a genius. Yeah, yeah, you're it. just using it as an saying, example because you. Yeah, we have to clarify. Of that. People yeah. will interpret yeah, I don't want Soulja Boy to come on here. Of course. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, uh, so. Um, Outside of that, you have to think about, like, you know, is this person selling art or is this person selling bullshit? Like, the music industry. You can tell, like, I feel like you can kind of tell who really wants to make music and who's just out here there you want to say they just want to sell a single. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they just want to get a single. Concept art. The fact of art is just a concept. Like, whether it's nothing or it's something that took a long-ass time, it's still just, like, paint on a flat thing. So Absolutely. If it's someone a- can convince you to buy a painting for... 40, 40 bands of right. nothing, right. then damn, they. I ain't gonna tell them maybe, lie. Maybe they the goat. I, I ain't gonna tell them a lie. Cause I've grown, it's called hustling. Because I'm creative too, dog. I'm, I'm creative in my own right. I know. And the I, makeup I, you put that's on good. That's good. I, I mean, this, but it's art. Regardless of however I look, dog, this is art. You know, this is art. America, get your popcorn. This is art. But again, I go into Hobby Lobby, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure you've been in Hobby, Hobby Lobby. If you haven't, you should. No. Uh, uh, they have these canvases, you know what I mean? And like like you said, they're just blank. Yeah. And I'm, you know, they have art sections in there with all the paint and all that stuff. And literally, I've thought about, it, I'm like, yo, 
And I've seen, just to your point, I've seen You mean some something bullshit. like Color Me Mine? Something like that? <laughs> yeah, some bullshit. <laughs> you and you know that there are some <laughs> artists that really put some really thought behind it. And there's and some I'm like, that don't. And I'm like, yo. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how can I, like, maybe I should just go get me a canvas and just go throw some paint on something. You know? Now, yeah. And I guarantee and and you put it somebody, somewhere, somebody, somebody can is going to like that. Oh, you can explain it in a certain way. I feel like it's art. It's almost Bam, more right so there. So it's the it. story yeah. behind it's the, the art sometimes. Right. Yeah. All the I mean, time is what you're think saying. Think about this. You got Jeff Koons. He's making balloon animals. Mm-hmm. And it's those so, are, them shits go for, I don't know what they go for. Bro, <laughs> like, thousands or millions. Millions. And the thing what? is, it's, it's so, a balloon animal. It's, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's a steel, it's, it's like a stainless steel. steel. Big ass. Yeah. Balloon dog. And like that shit animated. Is, <laughs> yeah, they look animated. Warhol, I mean, <laughs> even the, even some like Warhol shit, like yeah, like you, I mean, because this, this art, is this is how I this is how I see art, right? I see a blank canvas. I'm sorry, this is how I see the artist. I see a blank canvas, and he looks at it every day for like a year. He looks at it in the morning, leaves, right? Goes about his day. He looks at it in the morning, leaves, goes about his day, right? And then one day he has a red some red paint, and he does this, and he picks it up, and he throws it on the canvas, and that's it. But that's and what that's I was. But, I, I just explained but how that is with that? my Hobby Lobby story. Did I not? Why isn't it art? How I is it art? Why isn't it art? Well, why can't I do that then? You no, can no, do that. No, no, no. <laughs> but no, no. That's what my lady. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> right. That's I'm, what I no, don't understand. No, no. I'm glad understand. you said that. Okay. So, versus a a well known artist, versus him doing as a it. nobody doing it. Why wouldn't he get the same credibility? As, as that a well known artist, artist, and his shit looks just the same. Oh, because you didn't start it. You just copying a well known artist. He's not no, reinventing. I'm not copying. He's I, not reinventing just, the wheel. I just did this. He's I just know, did. but now it's been done. But <laughs> I, didn't do it, for I didn't do it because a dude in <laughs> London did it. I did it because that was my idea. I don't know, but it exists. If someone like, um, I don't know, I feel like all this is equatable to music. Yeah, yeah really, I, I agree. Gonna, I agree gonna, with but you. again, it I goes into you. music. Fashion, yeah, all of those but things, and even in like fashion, like we can like be real. Like, how many people are actually buying for the quality? Mm, are you buying for the name? name. <laughs> like, you the know. Brand. And I'm glad you got the name. Then okay. you can sell socks. Okay. You now we, we really Louis Vuitton uh, socks. So I'm about to go so, not regular socks. So I'm about to so, <laughs> made it click. Okay. So now, being that you just said that, we about yeah. to take it. We finna detour. We finna go to a deep, deeper question now. And I'm driving. No, you're in the back seat, oh, okay. <laughs> which you're uh, in a booster seat, too, okay. while you're at it. <clears throat> Kanye. Genius. No, longer, no Yeah. Genius. No longer with Adidas. Yeah. Cuckoo, but genius. Right. He's smart and crazy at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah. That's an artist. But now, what do you think about Adidas? Now they're taking his name off, but they're still selling the, the silhouette. They're still selling, because they're they're selling the shoe without the name. Is it still the same? That's janky. That's janky. But they're Adidas. But they're, they're a big ban- business. That's but it's just, no, I don't but, think it's the same. But Right. So is it the same? And do you think that, like I said, is, is it going to sustain? No, and it is it sustain. fair for them to really, s- you're basically selling the, the mold without someone's name? It's just like you were just talking about earlier about the royalties. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a they're basically selling the shoe, getting royalties based yes. off what they've already established. And if you don't like him because of his remarks, then how are you still going to produce the shoe? That he, right. That he designed whatever. Still making especially money. if you're still making their money. Especially when you're terminating for those exact, for that exact thing. Reason. Yeah. But yeah, that's, cool, that's cool. janky, bro. But that's big business. <laughs> but, They're going to do that all the time. Yeah, I'm sure the contract was set up too. Like, hey, bro, if you do something stupid, we going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> we still drop back. But I think there. he already knew that because I heard he was trying to get out of the contract anyway, and it was kind of hard. It was kind of – so he almost gave himself an out just by going out to saying some crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, now, do you want to get into clothes as well? As a- yeah, yeah. I, I think that's one place where, like, <laughs> my dad be yelling at me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm laughing right now. Like, so you haven't gotten into I that I started with yet? clothes. When I was in college, I was playing college football and, and, and NSU. And I transferred, and I was like, okay, I'm probably done with football. I'm just more just art. I mean, if I'm not going to the league, right. then it's like, then okay, this shit kind of wasted Can't, my ride, bro. You're like, right. You're right. So, Outside of a shoe collab, obviously, yeah, a, shoe, a shoe would be obviously fashion a little bit too, yeah. but we're talking about clothing apparel-wise. Is there anybody that you would like to collab with? 
Um, <clears throat> anybody, <clears throat> anybody you would like to not call with? prototype? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking a question. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just asking if there's anybody you would like to collab with. That's all. <laughs> I think the, the clothing stuff is cool. I think the problem with with me right now, it's not a problem, but the, the situation I'm in right now is that you're just I, over. You're too busy. No, no. I just need to. I need to just like. I made out of clothing line coming out of college, and it boom, it was doing really well. Survived out that for a long time before I committed to painting, and um, I do too many collabs that like I make people millions of dollars sometimes, and I'm like, damn, bro, like could be you. you I do make- have the machine, you know, I could just that run could the machine, you. just crank the machine back yourself. up, yeah, so. It's well, really we, we can work out a deal or something. You know I mean, I'm not. <laughs> we, we can work something out. You know what I mean? For sure. You know what I mean? No, no, I just want to expose, use that to expose, get the brand out there, this and that and the other. Hey, you know, Blue and T.O. collab. You know what I mean? I like that. Call it D.O. <laughs> so, so from, wow, from again, just see, looking. Too fast. So from <laughs> looking at, cool again, now? because as an artist, I'm saying you're going to put uh, designs on shirts like that yeah, shirt yeah, right yeah. there, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not thinking that you're looking at this color and putting a design on it. You're not. You're not going to change the style of a hoodie. You're just going to put um, something. The a mock-up picture. or the skew of yeah, it. I like, yeah, I like. Right? I like both. You, I like you doing do both. Either both, but um, it's cool because in this process of like being an artist and like, oh, I'm a real artist. I, I learned how to do all this stuff. I can do all this stuff now. Like the older I get and the more I'm around successful people it's like you don't need to know how to do everything mm. you just need to have the vision to be able to guide people to do what you need them to do so facts i love t-shirts so of course we're making t-shirts like that's that's the number one thing i i feel like and people also like you don't think Take twice about buying a t-shirt right you like some get your, like some get your popcorn ready t-shirts i, I like it i'm copying Bam. i'm not thinking about 49.99 give me it. yeah you know and i'll got buy it. another one next <laughs> week and i'll buy another one if they got some more stuff it's not like you never like stop Never, never not buying clothes. True. So um, definitely doing tees just because I'm a streetwear kid. But like eventually, like is that one of your designs right no, there? No, this is just okay. It's fire with turtle vintage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just got turtles on my shirt. <laughs> but eventually, I would want to make like pants and shorts. Like I've yeah. I've gotten to make like shorts and stuff with the hundreds. I did a collab with Coach last year. Coach Michael B. Jordan. Nice. So I've gotten to play in the clothes space, and it always does really well. I did a Kobe tee that did. Amazing. It's all the Kobe T. Right? Um, I did some stuff with Chips Ahoy. I've d- I've worked with all the brands. Right. So now it's just about like let's let me let me get let, let me hone in and, so you <laughs> can yeah have the leverage. And it's just an, another uh, source of income. Being a painter, being that painting is my main source of income. Mm-hmm. That like shirts is is big business. Like clothing is big business, Huge. and it's not hard Brilliant. to set up. Right. Well, you because you know the space. Yeah, obviously. yeah. Right. I mean, square space. You run it all. You could do everything at right. the crib. Have somebody else ship it. Right. Yeah. Have you have you ever thought about redesigning NBA or NFL uh, jerseys or something? Yeah, like that? yeah, low key. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that, I'm hey, hot that, about this. Hey. One. I, <laughs> I had a shot. I don't know if I'm out the running, but I had a shot to do one team mm-hmm. in a city that I'm familiar with. It's okay. Jerseys, but <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, no, it was Dallas. Dallas. Man, no, I, I was, was gonna say with Dallas. It was boys. But, but, with, but with NBA, but I. And that, I, we're just, I don't know if it's even going to happen, but that's a dream to do any jerseys because I, I have jerseys. Like, I still wear a lot of jerseys, throwbacks. I got a D.L. Really? Niners. I just bought a Dirk jersey, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, but jerseys, um, definitely that would be a dream. I got to do some stuff to the NBA um, two years ago or last year. Well, one of these years. Right. I did Lakers, I got to flip the Lakers, the Nets, and the Bulls um, logos. Did super awesome. well, right? So yeah, yeah. I, I, I love sports. And when stuff like that happens, like the next day, people will call and give you different opportunities or different ideas. Like yes. that's how the world works. And you have to be like, no, I don't want to do that. Because you have to say no to to keep your brand hot. Yeah, and then right? some stuff is is kind of it's kind of crazy. Like you know, like to see that, like okay, like I don't want to sound like Kanye here. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, right. Like you gotta bring me in, bro. Like. Yeah. Not because the deal's not what good. What y'all enough. doing or what y'all doing? It's not working. Yeah, yeah, it's like, and then some of the people had to be like, "Nah, bro." Like, what's the biggest brand you've said no to? Or have Adidas. you said Adidas? Actually, uh, I worked with Adidas. I worked with Adidas right before I worked with Nike. Right. And then, and then, then now you said I, no. And then now I was like, I, I don't know. I just yeah. I'm I, I'm open. I'm a free agent right now, actually. Right. But like, it, I wear Nike, so it's like I probably won't. So, do but <clears throat> being that you just mentioned two brands, Adidas and Nike. And both of those have dropped 
some artists and some athletes, yeah. Kanye and Kyrie. Yeah. Does that factor into whether you work with them or design with them? You know, does your political stance or views or things that are going on in today's world? Adidas more so kind of rubbed me the wrong way more than Nike. Because mm. Nike does that. Like, mm -hmm. they dropped Pacquiao, bro. Like, mm. he said some wild shit, but <laughs> they got him about it. Like, that's, wow. that's Nike, bro. Like, and also, I just, it's kind of like taking a step back. Like, as an artist, I'm supposed to be sending out a lot of views. Like, it's like, Okay. Nothing safe about like I I can talk about whatever I want to talk about. Right. So can Kanye and, and Kyrie, but like if you have to worry about like a boss now, it's like I don't work for anybody. <laughs> you know, right. like yeah, like we can do something, but it's like I don't I don't think that should even factor in. And I just feel like if you're worrying about like brands being the the maybe I mean well also, somebody that don't also have artists, so I, I don't right, know. but somebody that yeah. don't have the bandwidth to do what you're doing. Yeah that may affect them differently. So they have to monitor or censor, yeah. in a sense, they do. what they say or what they to do. That bag, so, yeah. what, again, obviously not to keep circling around, but, you know, how do you think, what is your personal opinion about what Kyrie said, obviously apologized, and then the fact that, okay, Nike has now terminated his, his Nike deal mm. when, based on their interpretation. I think, honestly, I think they feel forced by public opinion to pull – or terminate right. his contract based on what Adidas did with Kanye. Yeah. Because I guess there were similar things being, you know, said or what have you. And like I said, I know, and I, I, I know Kyrie, not person, but I've been around him. I know him, and I, I can, you can genuinely feel and hear somebody and know their heart to know that he's not anti-Semitic. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you make a mistake, and then right. he didn't even say anything. I mean, not, <laughs> not I'm saying he didn't say anything. It's not his, yeah. yeah. Bro, it's like, it was everybody else's interpretation of what he didn't say. You can't it's make Kanye, me. Man. It's the wrong <laughs> time. It was the wrong time, <laughs> really, because Kanye just blew the world up. And then yeah. Kyrie followed. Kyrie just, Watch just hopped on, and it was like, you can't he, Kyrie, he should have. It's just, I feel like it's fucked up. Yeah. And I feel like Nike shouldn't have dropped him, but I just feel like he just picked a, a moment in time where it's like, bro. It is a different now, time. Like today, like you could have just held off on this shit. Yeah. yeah. But again, that's but, say, this an artist. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. It's, it's like, man, I, I hate that. You know what I mean? Especially if we as athletes, then again, the fact that, again, I, I want to talk on this because he apologized. You can't tell a person when to apologize or how to apologize. Let this guy research and do what he needs to and find out the information. To, to know what he's apologizing for. You yeah. cannot force nobody to apologize. Then they got stipulation as to these six things as to how he can get back on the team. Yeah. You got some quests. <laughs> That's like, like, they talk, like yeah, it's the, the, the book breaking, you know, aspect yeah. of like, okay, we're going to teach you how to do X, Y, Z, and everybody's watching. You see if this is what's going to happen to you way, if this, you know? this happens. Yeah. So, again, obviously knowing – that aspect of it does it prevent you from doing certain things, even though you may be your own boy, your your own boss. But again, like I said, just the optics of it. Okay, if you're doing the same thing, will that affect your sales or what you're trying to do based on how the world is treating people based on their freedom of really speech in right. a sense? Because that's your free your your art is your freedom of speech. It's an extension of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm not gonna like. I don't. Damn it! I try not to be like. I'm leaning more towards Kanye than than like <laughs> than to than be politically it, correct. Yeah, because it's like once you change your whole thing just for the brands, unless you have to do that, and you have to do that, cool. That's I'm not saying go be a rebel and right, right, right. <clears throat> ah, like, I'm right not yeah. saying go spaz out. But I'm saying like if you're an artist, then your only job is to make art based on how you feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once you start adding brands into it, and like, then it's okay. You're it's gonna, not coming from within. It's gonna get a little sticky uh, on what. Because you, now you gotta go tailor to what they, they want. Right. You yeah. don't know what they. Want. But it's right. crazy though, because I feel like this is kind of the same thing where it's like when shit was so safe, where it's like, what's his name Bob, Bob Saget? Uh -huh. Bob Saget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like I, I used to think he didn't cuss. I used to think he was just like a nice, <laughs> wholesome guy from TV. He looks like that. And I feel like <laughs> that's like how, an like, insurance man yeah, come to the door. That's how I work with brands. Kind of is a little bit like for uh, some people. I feel like, like you have to put on this like clean. Like I'm just like hey, I don't, yeah. I don't do anything except yeah. <laughs> nothing. You know. Right. So I feel like if you're an artist, you just gotta, you just gotta make art and mm. say your views. If you got something you got a problem with, say that shit. Like that's what art is, and mm -hmm. that's what the good, that's what good art is to me. Right, sure. right. We talk for about sure. bullshit art and painting nothings right. and concepts. <clears throat> to me, good, authenticity of it. Good art to me, like, 
and I'm I'm not right, but to me, good art is um like the way I paint is like show me something that you dream that only you would see in the dream mm. or like portraits are cool like you paint somebody that's cool like right, to me right. I'm not saying portraits aren't like great that, right. that shit's tight it's a good skill to have but I think like to me real art is like show me something that like I couldn't see anywhere else only right. you can see yeah mm-hmm. that's great yeah that's I like that awesome. yeah that's it yeah I like that I like that that's awesome the way the he shared yeah the way yeah. Yeah, yeah show me something that you see in your dream. Cause only, like, cause like I said, only you, you can see one anything. person out of eight billion. Right. See and then, that. You, and the thing, and the thing about it is, other people see it. Like I said, you just got, got a story. You got to tell that story. If they can see, you know, what you see, bring it to life, right? And bring it to life. And yes. And that's the that's how you sell that painting, right there. Literally, the you could be like, "This is the stuff I see when I go to sleep," and then it could right. just be weird little creatures or whatever yeah. you see. Like you know, like I feel like it's just um, I don't know. I feel like. That story, I mean, story is everything. Like, story is everything. Right, right. Wow, that's crazy. Well, yeah. shoot, we, hey, we appreciate you coming on the show. Let everybody know where they can find you on IG and your social media I, thing. Is before, before we get to that, I've already jotted down some notes with our Blue and T.O. collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, well, let's go. What, what's the notes? Let's no, us, no, give us the notes. I want to... What's no, the notes? Right. I wanna, it's just it, the, the thing that he said that sells is T-shirts. And the thing is, clothing, people are always buying clothing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And Absolutely. again, with T-shirts, like, You it's can't walk simple. around naked. But then I think, is it the art? And then it, you have to sell stuff on quality as, as well. You can't sacrifice, yeah. you know, quality just selling bullshit because everybody's right. going to realize that at some point. So yeah, so I'm just I don't know I'm just jotting down some things for like design hoodies like, like get your popcorn ready. Design I'm hoodies. Gonna, yeah, I like yeah. Yeah, so I mean I'm gonna talk to him about you know some collaborations. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all about networking, <laughs> establishing relationships right here on Get Your Popcorn Ready. Man, where they can find? Where can they find you? I'm Blue the Great on everything. Uh, BlueTheGreat.com at BlueTheGreat Twitter Instagram. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just right. blew the great, everybody. Hey, well, I want, leave, leave us with this. What's one company, brand, artist, celebrity you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Um, and you don't have to say me. I'm, you're not, I'm don't, just here. Please don't say <laughs> no, I'll throw, here, I'll throw up if I'm you say that. I'm just here, man. You know, now that you know that I, I'm into fashion and, and I have He's a clothing brand fashion. and stuff like that. Yeah, I, me, you can, I'll just take myself out of the picture. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just sit in the back. Give us, there's, uh, the, there's that one, that the pinnacle of your career. What, what's yeah. that one? Man, okay, I'm going to say in music, um, I'm going I'm to give you two answers. In music, okay. it's going to be either future Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. Just because of how, like, I never got to go over there and make some, some shit for future and an art, like, bro. future, <laughs> future, holla at us, uh, okay. PR, okay. or, or Jay Z, you know, uh-huh. got to work oh, with Kendrick. Oh. That was real. I mean, I worked with Kendrick a lot. That was really so. tight. But uh, never got to meet Jay Z and F- future or, or like Frank Ocean. That'd be tight. And and uh-huh. brands, I would say, I, I've worked with every brand or clothing line. I don't know. I'm not really. I don't know. The brand, the no, brand that, that doesn't it's, move it's you. Cool. It's the people. Yeah. Maybe like Visvum or like some high fashion like shit okay. that where I can make some like pieces instead of like tees. Right. 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 Um, but I don't know. I don't really have an answer for clothing. I kind of want to just make my own stuff. That's what's yeah, up, that's man. You want to be yeah. your own boss, man. Yeah. Again, if you don't, if you don't, if you can't find something in the world, you go create it. Right. Yeah. That's the best way to live. Yeah. There it is. Blue and T.O. collaboration yes, comes to you. I'm putting it out there into the universe. You know what I mean? You got to manifest these things. You know what I mean? Because that's how I say You got to manifest these things. You're putting it out there. You know what I mean? Not just because he's right here. Because he's an it artist. Is he under- he's right here. No, he's an it's artist. Right he, understands he's right where, he understands where he I'm coming under from. Him. You know what I mean? You got to put it out there, dog. How about we? But I, I, about, I appreciate. You know, you know what you should do for him, Blue? You, I, got, you guys should make the first hoodie that's backwards so it sh- covers his face. <laughs> That's how about fine. do that? Hey, how about create that? Let me that, tell you something, Blue. I'm down with that. that? If, Blue, it sell, do that? if it sells millions, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for it. But, but you know what? Eyes. And put, uh, put, <laughs> some, put some, some eyes on the hood. Yeah, exactly. I like oh, that. Baby, that. Sure. Great. Hey, but the thing is, I'll never look at you the same now, dog. In a positive way, because he said art is ugly, and now <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen you see what I'm Get saying? your popcorn ready. I'll holler at y'all next week. Blue the great. Yes, out. sir.